happy weekend uh, viewers all over the world wherever you're watching god bless you all and favor you and uh, give you the blessings and the protection that god has made for you uh, once again i am your prophet prophet dr david king leo elijah the major prophet of the most high god by his grace uh, before October 1st, the Lord revealed to me things that is going to happen. And also on the 31st night, God revealed to me things that is going to happen in the country, Nigeria. And uh, I prophesied about the things I saw, the uh, protests, agitation, and everything that is going to happen. And uh, we begin to pray about it. We prayed about it from 31st night and we we'll get to the month of uh, September to about to enter October 1st. Uh, the Lord also opened my eyes and said that the hour has come in the realm of the spirit that this thing that he has told me is about to start. Now, uh, uh, after the October 1st, the, 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 the protest started. As this protest started, uh, God revealed to me now that I'm going to make known on Sunday tomorrow for everybody to see. Uh, the, 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 the agitation and the protest going on is, uh, is like a father and their children, or father and, the, uh, and, the, and his, his family. It's like a family something. But uh, there is a problem that is going to happen. The realm of the spirit, I see the military coming out with their sword and their guns and their armored cars, and they begin to shoot on these protesters that are on the road. And the Lord said, I should tell them to please keep back their sword, keep back their bullet, because uh, this is what is going to cause a big problem and a big uh, uproar. And uh, I see where uh, the people now begin to all put on black, and people begin to enter into the street, and people are no more happy. And this is what is throwing everywhere into fire. And I look in the realm of the spirit, I saw borders close. I saw, I saw, I saw, I saw, I saw targets close. I saw, I saw, I saw head bridge close, and every other place is close. And uh, this thing is not going to be something good, and it's not going to mean well because uh, I am seeing also where uh, 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 embassies are shot, American embassies shot, go back to America, and then peacekeeping nations begin to come. European Union come, United Nations came, and so many other people came into this country. Remember, I told you this on the 31st night. But no problem, on Sunday tomorrow we are going to come on board and the Lord will tell us what to do. But I'm making this video for every one of you that is watching online, wherever you're watching, to please go into serious prayer. It is time to pray and pray because I see the street filled up with black, wearing black and black, up and down, which means dangers ahead. But our prayer is that God will not leave his people and this run and this race is not something of ordinary. It's something that is going to bring a, 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 what is called turnaround. The youth have taken the bull by their horns. And so please, I want to use this medium to say to all the people involved, all the authority, never try to put out there the military. Military are for war. They are not for peace. They are for war. So please, let the military... Keep back their bullets, keep back their sword, and stay clear out of this. Because this is not uh, something of war. This is something of agitation, something of people trying to make up their mind. Their points sh should be known. And uh, I believe that as soon as their points are known, everybody will go back to the house to avoid putting fire everywhere. May the Lord save his people, the Lord protect us, the Lord deliver his people, and the Lord stand for as many that believe. Remember once again, I'm your prophet, Prophet Dr. David Kigleo Elijah. I welcome you tomorrow for Sunday service. As you come, God bless you and God favor you and let the will of God continue to be done in our lives in the name of Jesus Christ. It is a time we all need to begin to pray to God and seek the face of God because God is the only one that can save us. God bless you all and God favor you all in the powerful name of Jesus Christ. Till we meet again, I remain your prophet, Dr. David Giglio Elijah. Uh, and Sachs protest that is going on is requiring prayers. Let's keep praying. Let's keep believing God. And let's keep seeing what God has in stock for us. 
in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I pray once again, I'm the senior prophet of Glorious Mount of Personality Church, the major prophet of God that God is using to speak to our nations and speak to people and telling them things ahead so that everybody will take precaution. Remember that uh, when I was uh, ministering on the, on the uh, uh, before October 1st, I told them, I said, anybody that knows the government should go and talk to them because what I saw, this revelation I saw, is something that requires the government to do the right thing. Let them do the right thing. Because uh, failure to do the right thing is what brings all the problem that everybody now begin to see. Uh, don't forget that God is still the same yesterday, the same today, and the same tomorrow and forevermore. He will remain God and remain the Creator. Let the will of God be done and let what God has in store get into our hands. Jesus' name I pray. Amen.